are you today? How are you doing? It's all, it's all going squiffy over here. So I am Daisy Foss. Hello. Lovely to meet you and uh, be able to bring you the energy of the angels from Avalon. I'm just bringing in Archangel Michael with this beautiful spray from Wellbeing from Juliet. And we're going to be working with the angels of Atlantis, the angels of Egypt, the alchemy angels, and the angels of the angles. That's the sacred geometry angels. So these are Tanzaniel, Esmeriel, the two uh, Atlantean angels that uh, come through these crystals because it's the spring equinox weekend how cool is that there is absolutely the hugest amount of uh, female energy flowing and really coming to the surface so we're working with isis hathor and sekhmet and of course the goddess kuan yin as well i'm sitting behind her you can't really see today um but hey ho we'll just know that she's there you can't always see the goddesses but they are there so we are um, getting ready for our evening meditation where we can hear more of Paul playing and that is this evening at 7 p.m. and uh, it's on Zoom code, code if you want to join us um, or half an hour on Facebook. And then tomorrow I've got all the workshops from 10 till 6, 2 in the morning, 2 in the afternoon, all online. We still can't actually invite you here, I'm so sorry. Um, but nobody's allowed or, or um, encouraged to, uh, to come. So the uh, workshops are on the Egyptian connection with Isis, really bringing up that encodement, that empowerment of love. And again, I think that's all going to join in at the same time as the, um, the peaceful marches that are happening um, in London um, and Bristol and many, many other places, all in the name of peace and freedom. So we really want to uh, you know, make it known that some things just aren't acceptable anymore. I don't know if you've seen, but in Bristol, they have this most beautiful walkway where um, the people, ladies, are donating their shoes for uh, a silent protest against the way that women have to be, um, uh, at, uh, especially after dark, um, being feeling safe. And I know this from my own personal experience, and I'm sure you do too. So they're leaving their shoes. Um, it's really beautiful, all socially distanced shoes. So again, it reflects the times that we're in, and uh, it's just a poignant reminder. So the goddess Isis is the goddess of love, and she is the goddess that helps us to feel that divine feminine to really reclaim our power and that's what this spring equinox is about it's about the abundance of the feminine it's the abundance of the male you can't have life without male and female it has to come through the balance and union of the two and so that's what my workshop is about if you'd like to join i've actually only got one person on it at the moment lovely chrissy whistler bless you thank you very much um so if you'd like to join in then please do um it's 30 pounds an hour and there's four of them you can choose which ones you want to come to um, I do suggest you come to all four. Um, and then on Sunday, we will be meeting on the tour at sunrise. It's about seven o'clock, I think, at the moment, not too early. And I'll be giving the uh, the um, 11, 11, um, I'll be giving the, the spring equinox post from the tour at 7 a.m., and again, it's uh, socially distanced. I will be um, uh, up there um, uh, bringing in the energy of the angels of awakening through the energy of the tour because there's 50 ley lines and it's beaming, absolutely beaming because this spring equinox is so phenomenal. And if you want to join online, then um, 10.30 on Sunday the 21st, we will be bringing from the sanctuary online the 
um, energy of the spring equinox 2021 because it's going to be so amazing it really is it kicked off last year on the spring equinox and there's no coincidence that 18 months later june the 21st the summer solstice the next uh, sabbat we will be able to um break free so uh, i think that's whether or not the government let us at this moment in time so let's see how we get on oh, i just love this crystal this is the first crystal that i bought an apophyllite crystal absolutely beautiful she is the divine feminine and she is the most beautiful beautiful uh well apophyllite crystal really lovely so are you ready are you ready for the spring equinox are you ready to spring into action as we call in these angels these angels of the angles the angels of sacred geometry the angels of avalon the angels of the heart take a breath And as you take a breath, breathing in this light, breathing in this love, the energy beaming out from the heart of Avalon, from the center of the daisy, the daisy center, sending this light, we're on the Michael line, so we're bringing in the balance of Mary, Michael, Isis, and Horus, bringing the balance of the male and female, the alpha and the omega, bringing this light, bringing this love, and as you breathe it in, just breathe it in from the top of your head, right through from your crown, from the thousand petaled lotus, all the way through to your earth. I am putting the crystals on my crown, it's quite beautiful. And as you breathe these crystals through, the beautiful light flowing and overflowing as it flows through from the great central sun to the heart of Mother Earth coming together in the center of your heart star. And as it comes together in the center of your heart star, this beautiful energy now of your heart chakra, beaming out through the six petals from the front of your heart and the six petals at the back. And as you look at these petals, they look like a clock face, 12 petals of light, 12 petals of love. And as they open one by one until you step into the very center of your heart, stepping into this space and place of love, in the very center of this is the pearl of your heart, the pearl of your wisdom. Starts off really small and as it expands, you have a pearl in your heart and a pearl in your third eye and a pearl in your gut, in your navel. And as these three pearls, these string of pearls, the pearl of wisdom, the pearl of truth, and the pearl of forgiveness, all come together as one. And as we bring these crystals together as one, these pearls of light in the center of your being, I think I should put that somewhere else, it's over there. As we bring the energy of the pearl of your heart, this beautiful, big, crystal clear crystal with merlin in the middle it's so beautiful just beaming out this light as you breathe it in breathing in the one breath of creation the one breath of the one love the one heart breathing as one and as it flows and overflows just connect in with your divinity connect with how you feel how do you feel in this moment how are you coping with what's going on? And if you are feeling anxious, if you're feeling you're not coping, then just breathe in the light into that space, into your emotional body, into your mental body, your karmic body, wherever it is in your being. If you're finding that your body is aching, I've had so many phone calls this week. Oh my goodness me, I've got a headache, I've got a sore throat, I've got a sore hand, I've got a sore foot. These are all the body showing you where the inflammation is, where the blockages are, what it is that you can do to help your body to release these blockages because this is the spring equinox and the energy is so beautiful. It's coming in from the stars and the planets and the angelic spheres. 
So if you have a headache, the headache energy is the energy blocking as it can't go through your root chakra. So concentrate on your root chakra, wiggle your hips, move, walk, dance, anything to clear any headaches that you have. Drink water, but really clearing and concentrating on your root chakra, your knees, your ankles, really getting down into the dirt, the headache will dissolve. If you have inflammation issues, then once again, you need to look at C, what you're eating, stop eating. B, the nightshades, the, uh, the foods that inflame you and try some turmeric, that helps as well. But if your inflammation, again, that's coming from the circulation, you need to really get out there, have a cycle ride, go, go, you can go swimming. Um, I know people who are swimming in the sea. I know it's March and they're swimming in the sea. Hi, Helen. How beautiful is that? I'm going to say that again. Hi, Helen. <laughs> and if you are really, really wondering what is going to happen, nobody knows. But what we do know is it's a new now. And if you are in this space, in the pearl of your heart, safe, secure, this energy all around you, calling in Merlin, calling in the angels and trusting that everything will be okay. Because it's okay as it changes. It's okay as we are safe, feeling safe. Okay, I'm not saying that things won't, aren't rocky, aren't challenging. They are. But it is okay to cry. It's okay to feel uh, that things that things are different and you're not sure who to talk to. Give me a call. Reach out. Love to speak to you. So from my heart to yours, from the heart of Avalon, I'm going to be giving you a beautiful, big, angelic hug. These beautiful roses. It always reminds me of the pearl of your heart, the, the rose, the beautiful divine feminine, as it opens up into the center, you can see how this love from Mary Magdalene, from all the divine goddesses, and especially from Isis. So look forward to joining with me this evening if you'd like to, um, or on the sunrise on the 21st of March. So big hugs. Thanks for watching. Do have a look. Please follow me and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Um, let's really show the angels that the messages are getting out there. Thank you.